we got coming up now then? Julian Sancho of uh, Costa Rica and Eduardo Ara Araujo. Araujo of uh, Mexico. They're the next pair on to uh, map two. Why don't we uh, stay here? Have a look uh, what these, these two have got to offer up. Quick uh, Paul Dio's out to white. This is the first Mexican competitor we featured. Mm -hmm. It's not that we've um, not wanted to show, you know, every nation that's here. But we do have 79. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> that's going to take a while to get through, isn't it? White looking for Gigi Katame. good turn in by blue just sort of lost his grip there good idea once again Sancho looking for Gigi Katame Sancho leading here by Yuko and has picked up the, uh, the penalty I think maybe two can't see from this angle and, uh, possibly a, a two penalties on there but he does lead yeah he's got that, that small score there when you get a score and you've got a pretty good chance of taking it home Well, we certainly saw with Manzi yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Basically, got all the way to the finals, just small scores and penalties, and good strategy till he got outfoxed by the Mongolian leaders. Right? That was the case. Manzi's a little bit um, deceptive. Um, he gets. Um, he looks busy. It gives every impression of um, of doing something, but he he ended the uh, the day. He ended the day without a single score. Not a single score. I would say exceptional exceptional gripping strategy and uh, good solid footwork. Just sort of yeah. He, as we said yesterday, the frustration on the part of yeah. many of the folks at the end that, of matches that, who that were at the wrong yeah. end. On, on the receiving end of that kind of, those kind of tactics. I mean, I, I wouldn't say for a moment that it was ugly, because it wasn't. It was no. actually good to watch. It was tactical. It, but it was highly tactical. And only when you look at it on paper does it beg a question, you know, how does that happen? How do we get to the point where we've got someone winning a world championship silver medal, where, irrespective of what level it is, you know, cadet, junior, senior? How do we get there? But the guy doesn't score. Yeah. He, hasn't, he hasn't scored. And yeah, I, I wouldn't say at all that it was negative judo at all. It, the, the matches that he looked, they weren't boring. No, they weren't. Um, it may, maybe it's an oddity, and we just have to, you know, to bite that particular bullet because the guy was not, um, it wasn't ugly. Actually, it wasn't at all. I, I, I liked watching um, a lot of it, but when I look at that paper, you know, you do ask yourself how, how it happened. Just 30 seconds left. White's still up by Yuko. I mean, there were, there were no scores in any of his matches. Yeah. Because, <laughs> of course, if anyone had scored on him, he would have lost. So it, it follows that if he hasn't scored, no one else has. And even in the final, 
it was only two penalties that he gave up that um, gave it to a Kazakh fighter. Anyway, Costa Rican's going to take this, Sancho. Some nice efforts by Blue there at the end, but... So, so thus far, uh, absolutely the opposite of yesterday. We're seeing more slower to more tactical matches, looking like some senior matches that we would normally watch. Yeah, a little bit. Just looking around the um, 